Hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Google Slides as a virtual worksheet uh, for your students to complete in Google Classroom. So the first thing you need to do is open up a new Google document for uh, Slides, Google Slides. Then what I always do is I determine whether or not my document needs to be horizontal or vertical, and then I need to change the uh, layout. So you go to File, Page Setup, and I always choose Custom. For this example, it's going to be a vertical worksheet, so I'm going to set the uh, dimensions as 8.5 by 11. If it were uh, horizontal, then I would do 11 by 8.5 and, and then hit Apply. All right, from there, I go ahead and delete all of the text boxes so that it's a completely blank slide. From there, you're going to choose whichever worksheet you plan to use, and you need to take a screenshot or a snapshot or a snippet of what the worksheet looks like. From there, your snippet or your screenshot should save onto your computer, and you need to drag and insert the document into your Google Slide. So from here, I can see that I have an image of the document. I'm actually using a screenshot from Mentoring Minds, uh, the Think Up lessons. All right, from here, what you need to do is you need to be able to save this exact dimension of this Google slide so that uh, when you actually add it as a worksheet, uh, all of the dimensions stay the same. So you need to go to File, Download, and you're going to be downloading it as a PNG image. So it should save to your computer as a PNG image. From here, you can go ahead and click on your image that you inserted and delete it. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose change background because the worksheet is now going to be the background. That way, when students type on top of the uh, worksheet, it does not move. So change background, choose image, and then I'm going to insert the PNG that was created uh, from the Google slide just a few seconds ago. I'm going to click done. So now you can see that the background of this Google slide is now that worksheet. So now students are able to add text to answer their questions. And then they could also use the shapes if like they need to, to circle like a correct answer. Uh, you just need to make sure that your students know how to um, change the shapes to be transparent, which is by going to fill color and changing it to transparent. Or they could also choose the line option and then use scribble and that will do the same thing for um, like circling the correct answer if you're doing like a multiple choice type activity. All right, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to create a, a digital worksheet in Google Sites. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.